Wildlife experts in Kent are at the heart of a project they hope one day could see the return of two endangered native animals to the county, red squirrels and pine martins. Now, pine martins are a predator. They're distantly related to badgers and weasels, but while they were common 500 years ago, they are now virtually extinct in England. Yes, these days they're really only found in the highlands of Scotland, where recent research has shown that where there are pine martins, there are fewer grey squirrels, allowing native reds to thrive. Well, now the Wildwood Trust near Canterbury is helping to reintroduce martins in English forests, as our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports. A pine martin and her kits. At Wildwood near Canterbury, conservationists have bred these rare mammals successfully in captivity for 16 years. And now they're involved in a project to bring them back into our woodlands in a rather unusual way. Uh, well, we're looking for pine martin poo, which is just down here. You can see it's kind of a brownish, greyish sort of colour. And I'm just scooping it up and putting it into a tube. Yeah. And how much do you need? Um, well, I come in every day and I collect everything I can find. It's a bit of a well, grim job. <laughs> um, it's okay. I prefer feeding them, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so pine martins are being trapped in their Scottish stronghold and released into other parts of Britain. Spreading the droppings in the release areas, it's hoped, will encourage them to stay there and breed. What we're finding is where we've started releasing pine martins into the wild, they disperse, they run away, and that's a problem for bringing pine martens back. And we're going to get different types of poo because we need to mimic what is a pine marten territory. So the pine martens, when they're released, feel that they're in a safe area for pine martens to live. At Wildwood, they're also breeding our native red squirrels for release into the wild. And scientists have discovered that where there are pine martins, the red squirrels will survive just as they did together before both populations collapsed. Well, the big benefit of bringing back pine martins is we can have red squirrels back. They drive away the grey squirrels. They won't survive the winters. They can't feed as much because they're too scared looking for pine martins. But the red squirrels, they don't care. So having the pine martin back, doing all the work we do here to breed them, to understand them, means we can have red squirrels running around our parks and countryside, which is a huge benefit for us. So the pine martin gives competitive advantage to the reds in their battle with the non-native greys. It's early days, but it's a battle that one day may be fought in the southeast. Yvette Austin, BBC Southeast Today, near Canterbury.